What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to root any Android phone with iRoot. So the first thing we're going to be doing is actually going on our phone, going into the settings, and then scrolling down to the bottom, and then clicking on About Phone. Now here you're going to see something called your build number, so just tap it seven times, and what you're going to be doing is enabling developer options. So once you do that, go back into the settings, and you're going to see developer options, click on developer options, and make sure that the USB debugging checkbox is enabled. Once you're done this, you can move on to the next step. Now what you want to do is go on and go back onto your computer and download the drivers for your phone. So to do this, you can go on adbdriver.com, which has the drivers for most phones. You're just going to click on the ADB driver installer. It's only 9 megabytes and it's going to only take a couple seconds to download. Like I said, you can go on adbdriver.com slash download to download it. And as you can see, it has finished downloading. So once it's done, just go ahead and click on the exe file, run it and then install the drivers for your phone and make sure your phone is plugged in of course so as you can see the drivers are already installed for me which is all so it's all good and then you're going to go ahead and exit it and go into the actual root process which is going to be on mgyun.com slash en slash get vroot and here you're going to see the download page for iroot so all you want to do is go ahead and click download and it's going to download the installer for the root you want to keep the file and it's 12.5 megabytes, so it'll only take a couple seconds to download. And then once you're done, all you want to do is run that file as well. And this is going to be the actual rooting software, so I'm going to click on it, and it's going to open it up. So I'm just going to click yes. Make sure my device is plugged in. Click next, 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 and then it's going to install. And once it's done, you just want to launch iRoot. And now it's going to see if my device is plugged in or not, so it's just finding my device. So it says my phone model list has been updated, I'm going to click OK. And it's, it's going to set everything up itself, so just give it a couple seconds. Alright, there we go, my phone has now been connected, it says my Nexus 4 is connected. Now all you want to do is click the button that says root, and it is going to root your device. Now this process takes from you know 10 to 20 minutes. Just sit tight and be patient and it'll just download everything on its own. It's a one-click root tutorial, so it's really, really easy. And on your phone, it's going to show you a couple of menus. Just leave it the way it is. It's going to be downloading it and rooting it for you. And it's a really easy process. And then once it's done, you're gonna come up with a screen that says the root has been completed. So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing in.